new airplane build. A Sabre F86. As the box says. It's a MIG killer. Well, parts are slowly coming in for this jet. So let's get started. Remember I glued this on. Front here. Might have been a mistake. <laughs> now that I'm looking, so I got my front wheel. I got these serverless free tracks. Right? They're very nice. But the steerable one here has this. It makes the landing gear that much too long. Right? So, I'm wondering, I saw some other ones where guys made their back shorter, so it'd be easier to take off, so I might have to carve a little bit out of the body. But this is the whole thing, it's, they were pretty sweet. We're going to hook that up, we'll be using the um, wire, and I have a steel gear, or aluminum gear, servo here piece of plywood. Now, oh, this is highly modding, right? Already. So we look at when I put this in here, okay? And it's going to go down. There's a good spot here. Okay, so this is where my front gear is going to go, right? Oh, I'm going to have to mount a servo in here. To do the steering. But I want the servo mounted way low. You don't see it. It has to be lower than the landing gear. It doesn't interfere with the gear retracting. So I'm going to put a piece of wood in the styrofoam here mount the servo. And that's what this is. I'm going to cut it from here. Doesn't have to be very strong. Because I use these three thin cable. Three thin cable in this bag here. I'll show you that step when we're making this. And we're going to put the servo in here to steer this retractable landing gear. But I'm going to have to make sure by lowering the landing gear that I have the servo low enough So it doesn't hit the steer the servo, the landing gear when it retracts. So this should be a lot of fun. First thing I'm going to do, take a little piece of wood here, and I'll make a mounting plate for the steering servo. for the servo. Then we're going to have to figure out how to mount the servo in the front there. See there? Landing gear comes with uh, re oh, retracts. So the servo is attached to the front landing gear. And I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to cut this hole, and then I'm going to a sharper knife. I guess you could use a saw. It would be easier, wouldn't it? Oh well. We'll get it out of here. Right? I'll be right back. Okay, we got the hole cut. I say I put the servo in like this. 
I'm going to come up from the bottom of this mount. I'm going to mount it like this, because remember we wanted this as low as possible mounted in there. So, I'm going to have to glue it from the bottom here. I'm going to need some screws from the top, I think. Screw it into here. Some that come with the kit, maybe. Yes. I'm going to draw a little hole. Well, can't be far off, eh? Need a little screw. I save all my little screws from jobs. One big little container here. But thinking of that, see? The kitch itself had some screws with it. So we'll put these screws in. Oh yeah, there it goes. And this one in, and then we're going to figure out whereabouts. Whereabouts the servo is going to go. We'll glue this few sludge together. Because I'm going to wire all this stuff. And f make sure my retract's going to work and fit in the front. I'm going to do this now rather than adding pieces later. Well, there, that's really secure. Okay. So, we're going to use this. A simple, simple, simple little wooden plate plywood. We'll cut the styrofoam and slide it in. So it's going to fit really tight in the styrofoam, right? So we'll get that done. The next step, I think, I think, we'll take a look at the instructions. I'm going to put all the wires in. And I think what I'm going to have to do is in this area here, I'm going to have to cut this out a little bit for the wheel to fit through. We'll see. I think this is an intake, help the intake for the ADF. But my wheel's just a little bit long. So. so I think this is going to fit nice. This fits good here. The retract system. We'll see, that should be good. Okay, so here we go. Front strut laying down. Steerable front wheel on it. Suspension. Okay, so I've got that to fit. And I held that and jigged that up, put that inside. You know, before I go any further, I'm talking about this stuff in a kit, you know. I can put some marks here and put this wood in, but other than that, I'm ready to go. So I asked for some hints, and I forget the fellow's name, but thanks for the tips on painting. I'm going to do the front all inside here silver now, and then I'll do the back behind the turbine black. But i got to paint all the front silver, so that looks good inside before I go any further and put it together. But I don't think you guys need to see me paint. I'll paint this offline. We'll do the video. We'll paint that up, get that ready to go. Then we'll get the two halves glued together with all the wiring in it. I guess that's what they want us to do next, right? So a whole bunch of wires. We've got the elevator throttle. And remember, I'm going to put a rudder in it. I've got a thin, one of those super thin servos coming. I'm hoping to be able to fit it right inside the um, elevator. Somewhere probably right about here. Right about here. I'm going to cut this out. Have my working elevator. We'll do a video of that mod. And I'm going to get the servos. We have the other two here, you see. These servoless retracts. 
hey, I think they're going to work good. We'll see if I bust them off. But these here um, match up perfect to the landing gear I have for the back. Which are a bigger wheel. See here. And the kit, they come with rods. Everything fits nice and snug. So that should be a cool setup with those retracts built. But first off, we're gonna paint this and get this nose together. Then I'll make some more videos. After I have it painted, I'll make some more videos of putting this together.